everybody, this is Darren from Drive Tesla Canada. Just testing out the new 2020.24.6.3 software update. It has the green light traffic control. And so far I've been driving for about 10 minutes and still haven't come across any green lights with someone in front of me. But now I'm a little bit uh, more into town so there should be some more traffic even though it's Canada Day and night. So hopefully we can uh, find some green lights. While we wait, there's the new rear camera view. Really nice. You can turn the side cameras off, back on. See, there's a slight delay in the side cameras coming on at first, but still pretty quick. So we got a green light coming up here. And works perfectly. No hesitation. Didn't have to provide any confirmation, just went straight through. And we got another one coming up here. So it doesn't even give the, uh, the warning on the screen to say that there's traffic control coming up. You just can see the green light, the green line, and through it goes. So after just a few weeks of having the traffic light control feature out, it's a pretty good update that can now continue on through a green light without any confirmation from the driver. coming up here just turn green so let's see what this one does again still no pop-up on the screen for traffic control there's the green line green lights and through it goes so far this is working really well now we got a red light coming up, and there's the uh, pop-up showing this traffic control coming up, and we're slowing down perfectly. Our car turned off into the turning lane, but there's still a car in front. And there we go. And there's an advanced green left turn signal there, that's why the one light's showing is green. Have it there. I hit the gear stop to confirm to continue through the green, but it followed the car in front and just took off by itself. So we got another light coming up ahead. It is red right now. There's the pop up. Just turned green, and as it turned green, within a second of it turning green, the pop up on the screen disappeared. Oh, just showing it's red now for some reason, but just give the confirmation and just went through. Not quite sure why it changed there. It might have lost sight of the car in front. Not really sure. Let's see what happens again now that the car is turning off into the turning lane. And we're coming to a stop. So I gotta say, after just a couple of weeks of having this feature up, a uh, really impressive update. It's working really well. So as long as you have a car in front of you. So the longer the, this feature is out and the more people use it, uh, the better it's gonna get. So if you do have it on your car, try and use it as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna sign off there and we'll see you guys later.